and directions, press 3. For operator assistance, press 0 or remain on the line. Thank you. Contraption. She's contrapting. Call operators are presently assisting other callers. I thought he actually answered. He was a hog. Hi, um, I need to talk to someone about if I should come in because I'm having contractions. Sorry, what was that? Oh, um, I'm not, I think I need to speak to labor and delivery. So I'm just trying to find out if I should come in because I'm having contractions that are pretty frequent. One moment, please. Okay. Let's see. Um, I need to find out if I should come in because I'm having pretty frequent contractions. Okay, hold on, please. Okay. <laughs> hold number four. Okay, I need to talk to someone about, um, I'm having contractions and don't know if I should come in to the hospital or not. Oh my God, also so it's a little, they're from like eight minutes to three minutes apart. <laughs> this is my first. No, first. They all hurt, but they're not like excruciating. <laughs> We're using this contraction timer app. You gotta put it here. That's a good, that's a good bit. I can't reach it. I know, you can't reach. Alright. So we're using this contraction timer app. And the app keeps telling me I should go to the hospital. But the nurse said not yet. So we're gonna wait. Cause I do not want to get sent home and I don't want to have to have them check me just to tell me that it's not time yet yeah <laughs> Boiled egg. It's hot. 
until they come back, I guess, until they come back, and then I'll swap with you downstairs right now. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of fun and bored and weight and crying and pain and not, and then, and then we got us a tiny one to take home and keep Boy off of it for as long as we can. Yeah. But it's okay if Boy lays over like day three or something, don't worry, I looked into it, it's totally fine. Totally snap on my fingers. You're in the position to just break them shits. They are not even in that in that hand right now. <laughs> Does it work if I squeeze your hand back? Yeah, but yeah, that actually does yeah. feel good. So I, I was like, does hand squeezing cure pain only one way, or does it have to be both ways? We're learning right now. That's really good. Yeah. <laughs> Wanna get me my comfy socks? Yeah, there's some socks up. I'm wearing these thick ass socks right now. Got some dickies on. Catch up with this camera fam later. Headed to find this waiting room with my family in it. Waiting room with my family in it. What? What? Waiting room with my family in it. Looks good, guys. My sister. Hey, sister. My mama, my cousin, my sister. Hey. 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 Hey, 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 family hey, hey, in this hey, 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 you can't believe we're here right now. Yeah, you knew this was coming though, right? Yes, yes, yes. but it's like, right? I didn't have to now. Huh. Planning this escape. <laughs> yeah, he's trying, trying to figure it out right now. There's the baby water. Oh, the strap. There's like straps on me. Oh, yeah. It's good to have to pay. Oh, no. Since the last time we recorded, 
They gave me the epidural, which wasn't bad. Um, it just felt like a little pinch, but the bad part about it was having to be in that like hunched over position for so long. But like that, that was the most painful part. Like my neck was hurting because I had to like hunch over like a cat. And then the doctor came in and broke my water, which I had no idea he was even doing. Yeah, that's crazy, right? Couldn't feel anything, so. Now I have this ball between my legs, which is pretty comfortable. What else? You're getting Pitocin. Oh yeah, so when they broke my water, it like kind of shocked the baby. So the baby's heart rate dropped, and then they had to give me something to like slow the contractions. And now they have to give me Pitocin to bring the contractions back. It's kind of a bummer. I just didn't want, I just wanted as little like medication as possible. Now it's like 12.30, which I had no idea. I have no concept of time right now. The epidural made me shake a lot, but not really anymore. It wasn't really scary, but just like annoying. Cause like I finally wasn't in pain, but then I'm, my whole body's shaking. So like what's better? How long did it last? I don't know, I have no concept of time. Oh yeah. <laughs> so the epidural is like working fine right now. Like you, you can move your legs, but at the same time, you're not feeling like you had a contraction about eight minutes ago. You didn't, you probably didn't feel that. A small one, super tiny. I, you weren't feeling these at home. So like, you're probably not feeling this. No, I'm not feeling any of it. Nah. I can move my legs a little, but I can't lift them. Oh. <laughs> Trying to lift it feels really weird. Don't do it. <laughs> oh, my mom rubbed my feet while you were gone. Oh, that's so nice. With oils. Oh, oil rubs. You guys are so cute. It was really nice. She actually only rubbed one of them. She kind of half-assed it. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Did I rub the same foot as the last time again? Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> Sometimes I only rub one foot. Oh, and when they were trying to get the IV in, they like hit a valve, and now I have this big ugly bump on my hand, which has gone down a lot since they did it, but now my hand just looks huge. Yeah, it's definitely gone down. I mean, it looked like it, was a lump. it looked like you cut a golf ball in half and then stick it under her skin right here. It was it was huge. Yeah, 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 yeah. To like get you on the radar so that when you're done, you can get angry. She said she would tell. Me. Remember to breathe, baby. I know it's hard right now. I can't hear you. What are you trying to do? Just sit 
up a little bit.
Especially since it's been so recent, you know? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, I would have to get a C-section if I had another baby. Like, sorry, kid. <laughs> and you know, I like to keep it as natural as possible, so that's, like, not natural um, at all. Yeah, it's like a real statement to how that shit felt. That's exactly what it is. That's nuts. He's so cute. He really is. I already see his lineup. Bro, like perfectly. It's crazy. Isn't that crazy. Like a little miniature and they just sleep, but then I'd get a contraction and then I wouldn't be falling asleep anymore. And it was back and forth like that? Mm. Yeah, because the epidural stopped working. So then they gave me some like some narcotic pain medicine, which is really weird. That I'm not into that. Yeah, no. It's America. Yeah. But that yeah. didn't even work. Yeah, but they, they gave you a half dose because of like the baby's heart rate was jumping up and down, and she was in some crazy ass pain. So she was down in the moment to take whatever they was offering. Yeah. But, okay. but uh, they gave half of the dose, which I think came out better because she still had a contraction pain, but. It was tolerable enough that she wasn't like screaming in pain about him. Right. And then you're able to feel, feel your legs, but not pain when you were pushing. So you would push that shit out. That's true. And the push was chill. That shit was under freaking 15 pushes. Crazy, That's bro. That shit took 10 minutes. She said all the nurses were talking about how fast it was. That shit took 10 minutes. Because we about health, too. Yes. <laughs> so, this is why you're documenting. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. But oh my god, nothing can save you from all that pain. I swear. Look, my Maybe, I don't know. I wasn't meditating throughout pregnancy. And like, that that could have been 